A look at a range map shows that tundra swan shouldn't be seen in Kansas at any time of year. Yet a few stray through here, and yesterday I saw a family close up along the wildlife drive at Quivira National Wildlife Refuge. It was beautiful to watch the huge white birds preening and tipping in shallow water for food in the way of teal or mallards. And their pristine plumage was stained from bill to body, colored by this feeding characteristic that turns them brownish along their necks. Swans are giants among waterfowl, weighing more than 20 pounds at adulthood. Tundra swans, sometimes known as whistlers because of their whistling wing beats in flight, can be told from larger trumpeter swans by yellow spots at the base of their black bills. They are seen in Kansas rarely, and usually only in spring. Then they head to the far northern Arctic where they nest. This group was no doubt a mature pair and their young from last year. Swans mate for life and travel in family groups, sometimes gathering by dozens of birds or more. But this unit was isolated and alone. Watching them was a reminder of how the great Midwestern crossroads in Kansas provides occasional looks at wildlife from all across America. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.